Hi everyone, it's Stephanie. I was going to talk about Project Life in this video, and it's also sort of an introduction to my family um, right now because I live in Tucson, and um, I've lived in Tucson for, you know, let's see, since 91, so about 23 years, and um, I moved out here because my husband, Michael, got accepted to the University of Arizona. We started dating um, the second half of our senior year in high school, uh, we'd gone to school together since fifth grade um, when I moved to Stockton, California, which is where he was born and where my mother and father's family was born. But my mother and my sister and I um, ended up moving back to Stockton when I was 10 years old. Um, so Michael and I have been going to school together since fifth grade, or we're going to school together since fifth grade. And finally, the second half of senior year, due to a lot of kind of sweet factors, but just an odd set of circumstances we ended up going to prom together and dating and then I moved I followed him out here to Arizona to Tucson and we've lived here for the last 23 years um, we do not have any children but we do have what we consider our children um, this is Ginny Mocha and Bella and as I look at this title page, I'm really in love with this title page. I did it the first week of February, and the pictures were current there. I didn't put our names here, and I don't really feel that's necessary because you'll see the story. Um, you'll see the names in the stories uh, if you were to look through my project life. So I just put the pictures, and, and Ginny was the first um, rescue dog. We got her in um, December of 2004. Um, and then Mocha came in February or March, uh, April. We adopted her in February, but she couldn't travel until um, April of 2006. And then Bella was March of 2010. Um, and I, I would love to adopt more dogs, but um, our HOA doesn't allow that. So this is Michael and then me obviously. And um, I put these wood, wood veneers. Um, these are Studio Calico wood veneers. And then the uh, cards are from the core kit, the Sunshine core kit, which I love and adore and have bought three boxes of. Um, and I love the astronomy, so the constellation was a, is a favorite. Um, and I just really love how this came out. There was a card in the... I I believe there was a card in the Studio Calico January kit. It might have been the, uh, yeah, it was the January kit. And I cut, I cut it, uh, circle punched it out. Um, I did use some Amy Tangerine stitching here. And then this is a sticker. And this is actually cut out from a card from the, from the uh, Sunshine kit. And it's just, this is a story about everyday, etc. Because really, it's all about my everyday because I don't do a lot of traveling, although I did travel this year. And with our families, but all back in Stockton, we don't do a lot of family get togethers, unfortunately. But we do have some, we did have some visitors, and we're going to have a family visit from um, my mother in law in October. Um, I'm sorry if I sound weird. Um, my throat's a little dry today. So I hope I'm not mumbling too much. So anyways, I like the 12 by 12 layout. And I use mostly two different um, page protectors. Um, usually the design A and the design D. And I alternate. So now I'm going to show my um, latest, the, the latest layout I have finished, which is week 29. And that does not mean that I have weeks 1 through 28 done. It just means this is the latest full um, page, full two page, you know, full week that I have completed and can really show. And, and it ha includes the new, some items from the new Heidi Swap um, core kits, Project Life core kits, and the Studio Calico, the latest August. Sandlot 2014. So I just thought it was more appropriate to show something more recent. Um, I also, and I'm going to show you, there's these in here. Um, here's a selfie of me and, and Ginny. I'm not sure if you can see these little, um, this little stamp, these hashtag stamps that I've used on several cards. This card and um, on a couple cards, I should say. And this card 
here. Um, these are by Lamika um, Pink Bow Ties. Um, she is Pink Bow Ties. It's really cute. Oh, I love pink. So Pink Bow Ties. And it's Lamika. She is on YouTube as Mark and Mika. M-A-R-C-N-M-E-K-A. And unfortunately, these are sold out now. Although, if you contact her, I think she says she's going to be doing a list of people who would want to order this. I was, unfortunately, I didn't get her first stamp set, which is a really cute one with the typewriter. But I was very, very happy um, that I did not miss out on this. This is her second set, and it's called Social Media. And I'm not sure if you can really see it all that well, but it has all these really cute hashtags. Um, and so I use the selfie hash one and style currently Instagrammed. I have other stamps that have hashtags. I think they're all cute, but I, you know, I like the size of these in particular. And it's a cute light font, very thin font. But anyways, um, and you know, comes. I actually loved it that it didn't come with a lot of packaging and I put it in this plastic bag because they are small and I didn't want to lose any but uh, for the most part I'm very I was happy that there was no packaging but I think she's just working on refine you know getting the right kind of packaging that she likes so if you want to find her on YouTube and and um, beg her to bring back the stamp set because I think she should because um, it's really cute and I think it's gonna, it would be really popular for her. It was really popular and I think it would continue to be. So anyways, um, so this is my week 29 from, and my weeks um, are, let's see, they're now Wednesday to Wednesday because I start on the first day of the month, not on, I mean on the first day of the year, which was a Wednesday, not on a uh, Sunday. Uh, so July 16th to July 22nd was my week 29. And as you can see, I did a mix and match. So this press pause is from uh, the Heidi Swap Favorite Things core kit, as is this striped card, um, as is this card. Um, actually, maybe not. I think that card's from Studio Calico. Um, um, and this, the, the circles card and this bliss. And I and and this stripe card, I think that they mix really well with the ones from the um, Project Life Sandlot August 2014 kit. Uh, I hear a doggy, so I'm probably gonna have to pause this and 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 come back later to finish it. But anyways, I thought the color mix was really good. You know, with the Heidi Swap favorite things and the items that like this was from. The, this is so funny because um, this is from the Studio Calico kit. Project Life kit, um, sub sub monthly kit for August, and it says my brain has too many tabs open, and my husband Michael's always telling me that I have too many tabs open on my computer, and he's the same way at his work, but at home he likes to close tabs and just move on from whatever website he's or whatever um, projects he's working on. He likes to use one tab at a time on his computer. But anyways, I also like this. Hey, you know. Hey, and these little stickers, this these are from the um the kit, the Studio Calico kit. Uh the stamps also from the Studio Calico kit, all these little labels cuz it's really kind of geared towards back to school. So a lot of these stars and the A+ plus and the learn and supplies and things were for um from the Studio Calico and were for um kind of like back to schoolish, but I kind of made them work. I think I made them work. For me, this was one of the first projects I did. This pictures of an art project. So it's one of the first projects I did after I really um, reorganized my workspace so that it was now workable and it used to just be a disaster. I, I love creative messes. I love crafting and I make a mess when I work. But I was never really able to clean up the messes very well, so um, there was a problem. Um, I'm going to have to pause this, take the dog out, and come back. Hello, I'm back. Um, I, When I was outside with the dogs, I was thinking about something I didn't discuss, um, and that's that I use. I generally use the Design A and the Design D on each week. So... Um, 
if this were you know to be actually uh, in a completed album I would have had the second half of week 28 on in this format and I would have made sure that the second half of week 28 fit in this format so I would have cut the photos down to match I, that can sometimes be problematic such as for like this one maybe it could have been bigger or this one is the first this photo is probably one of the first ones I've done where I didn't cut it down to match where I actually use three uh, or multiple spots sometimes I'll do that on a on a, on a three by four or for two three by four slots but I don't think I've ever done this before and, and so I might do more of these um, types of things but generally I like to try and make it work just because it makes it easier for me to have both options and generally because what will happen is for my for my book I put I, I do a very rough sketch of the um, the actual um, page protector and then it switches on the day it needs to switch and so this actually helps when I'm printing photos um, I generally get my photos from group book but if I t if I want to print them or um, when I was printing my, with the Canon selfie or with my computer I could use apps that would actually resize the pictures um, I know it doesn't look like a very exciting month does it and that's only because I keep forgetting to write down in here because I started using my file effects um, so anyways um, so what would happen is let me let me show you last year's because that's a little bit more um, that usually has a little bit more in it so if we take for instance like a month like this which I won't show you too much detail but you can see that there's a lot going on and so I will write down um, things that um, that um, were interesting or that I wanted to put that I wanted to put in the book um, and and then knowing what size photo is needed that helps me plan plan it out so so that comes in that comes in handy although now that I get you know now that I've been using group book more and I can selfie less eh, it's I have to sometimes make like make the group book photos like this just cut it down and hope that the most important information is in there or like this one um, uh, so actually I think week 29 is kind of the last um, my last group book is is gone up to yeah and my last group book goes up to week 29 so I will try to have to work backwards so that's my week 29 spread. Um, what I'm also going to do is a process video um, for week, mm, probably week 33, because I want to make a title card with the Heidi Swap, um, one of the new Heidi Swap value kits or mini kits. I'm not sure what we're calling these. Um, the so I want to make the a title card, but I want to make a title card for the week that M Michael bought these items for me. And this actually is, they're they're going to be two different weeks, I believe. But so I'm going to make a title card with one of these. Um, so I'm going to do a process video of that because actually making title cards is one of my favorite things. The week 29 one, it's probably one of the quickest title cards I made, and um, basically it was just the card with the dots, and then I you know I layered and there's these um, a, a plastic stars and this these this plastic hay and sticker and the metallic um, sticker alpha stickers that came in the kit and then the arrow stamp but I actually kinda really like it even though it's probably a lot less embellished than I normally would do my title cards and um, I can show you week 26 because that's like really one of my favorite there you go see there's nothing else in week 26 except for the title card and it is you know I I, I like it because it's dimensional and it's got stamps and it's just all there's a, this wood and 
different kinds of, well, that's the stamp, the number stamps that came with the Studio Calico kit. So this is my, from a Studio Calico kit. Um, and so that's my, that's kind of a preview of my project life. I'll be doing some project life pages, video, page videos, you know, process videos, um, as I catch up with my 2014 project life. I'm not even sure about catching up with 2013. Um, and you can tell me how you feel about incomplete uh, project life or incomplete projects or anything. Just, you know, leave whatever you want in the comments. Um, like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Um, I'm not overly sensitive, although my first dislike on, on a previous video was a little, you know, you... I only had like 10 views and one person didn't like it and I was like, what's, what's going on? But anyways, I really don't mind. I, I know that I'm just learning and I may never learn enough to be, um, to please everybody and can't please everybody. So you really shouldn't try. So happy creating and, um, don't forget to, um, look up Mark and Mika. I will put that information down in the, um, description for the video. And thanks for watching. Bye.